what would you say to anyone that's interested in getting to know more about what you do and where would be a good place for them to start? I think they need to be honest with themselves. I mean, I used to be really into my fitness. I, I got in really good shape when I was younger. And like I say, I've been a bit tricky during my uh, younger times. You know, golf, I've started to play golf the last couple of years. I'm, I'm sort of picking that up. I think you've got to be, you know, honest with yourself. If you're capable of managing your emotions and managing money, it's very, very different. You know, I might be in a trade where I see £1,500 on the table when I, I need to check myself and go back to the system and the program and lock in a break even on it, it might go to five grand. I think they need to be honest and say, are, are they really capable of that? And if they are, I would start with understanding the basics of in, investing, either your Warren Buffett style, get familiar with that. Then maybe use Bitcoin as an analogy because it's new and sexy. Bitcoin at 10 grand, if it goes to 20, you've doubled your money. If you use leverage, one to 200, you'd need a third of that. And then start getting the basics and the terminology um, and then open an account with either IG, TD365, certainly in, in the UK, they pay out on the same day. Um, and and start having a little play, supply, you know, sticking to your standard sort of strategies, supply, demand, support, resistance. If I only... If I knew what I knew now and, you know, got away from the Fibonacci's and this and the Elliott waves, there's so many strategies out there. But if they cannot do the basics of what I say to my students is a good, my, my mentor told me this, not one of my as a hedge fund. Um, he says, do the same thing consistently. So if you're going to short the market, wait for the market to be high. And if you don't feel it is, I wait again and wait again. So you're almost predicting price movements. Uh, you're, you're analyzing market structure. And if you believe that there's a dip opportunity, these are for de demo traders, start buying dips, but only buy dips. So it's a bit like if you want to get good at deadlifting, you wouldn't start trading, you wouldn't start training other things. You would stick to deadlifting and try and get progressively stronger over a period of time. Um, and that's why I liked or use bodybuilders as an analogy because they're able to do the same thing over a period of time for many years. What about, um, you know, when you say managing their emotions and managing their money are two different things, like, how would you describe that to someone that maybe doesn't understand it? So if they, if they turn, let's say 10,000, because 1,000 to 10, whilst, you know, them numbers are great the it's a bit like starting with hundreds of pounds if people start trading with hundreds of pounds they'll probably lose it and they, they get burned and think oh, i've just lost 500 quid whereas if they started with a practice account and had ten thousand, and then they was able to turn that into somewhat of real money you know 20 30 50 grand then they've got to be able to manage their emotions not go out and buy a car not go out and buy a rolex make the same mistakes that i did get a, an M3 that was 1800 quid a month, get a van that was this, get a truck, go to Dubai. You, you've you got to be able to not fall off the, the wagon, really. And that's where I think a lot of these stone stars go, where they're earning hundreds and hundreds of millions. And the Michael Jacksons, you know, end up killing themselves. Um, Whitney Houston, you know, it's, it's a very, very slippery slope, I think, when you're um, earning reasonable money. Even in Thailand, you know, I we can go out for 20 quid and have more beers that you're going to drink, you know, and, and I felt, I've, I've seen myself midweek, all right, I'm not training tomorrow, I'll just go out on the piss. You know, you imagine when you're in a position or the, the fuck off position, uh, excuse the language, where you, you don't need to get up in the morning, you, you can sort of maybe go out and party, then that's managing your emotions because you've got the money or you've got the wealth. Um, I put like Warren Buffett, that's why I kind of admire him because he lives in his same you know, Nebraska house that's worth about 300,000, they bought it for 20,000. You know, there's something to be said about that because it's not gone to his head. And if you're in a position where you know you can turn 10 into 20, well, you know that you can turn 20 into 40 and so on and so forth. The, the whole double game that everyone's uh, jumping on the bandwagon on Instagram, but, you know, it does happen. You know, when, when you've got a couple of hundred grand worth of capital and you're able to get a percent every other day or 10 percent a month that's a lot of money and you've got to be in a, a strong position to to manage your emotions and not go off 
the violin. 